Damn, nigga, I probably look bad like that. Nah, you ain't gonna look bad like that, cuz. Alright. Let me know you're ready, dog. I'm ready, man. Let me know you press record. That's recording, man. <laughs> you edit it out? Nah, we going raw. We no homo. Alright, cool. Right, it's your boy, Quilo Jones. My man, Jamel. Pretty boy, aka Hold on, nigga. <laughs> Yo. One thing I'm familiar with is being alone. Because a girl left me. I'm not saying I'm a coin nigga. I'm just saying, you know, I got some flaws, and you know they, they seem they seem to come up more when I, you know, when it's over. So I'm giving you the tips right now. Three things not to do. No charge, no nothing. No charge, or nothing. You <laughs> these know? are free. These are free. These, these are free, <laughs> ways, you know. First thing to do when she says over, try your best not to react. As she, as she, as she sending you long messages saying it's over in a while. Say, oh, okay. I mean, I know it's hard. Easy said it done. I wish I would have done it. But I did, though, you know, and I messed up, you know. So say, oh, okay. Well, say something small, you know. Don't 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 have a long, elaborate, you know. Response. Response. Because, you know, she made it in the mind already, you know. It might work. She might change her mind. But as she hits you with a text, well, you already know she want to hear it, you know. That's number one. Number two, my biggest mistake. Do not... Say things when you're angry, like so. Don't, basically, don't say things you're gonna regret. Exactly, because you're gonna regret them. Because you're gonna sit home like, "Damn, I should have said that." You, you look at the Instagram, like the Facebook, like she pretty and stuff. Don't say things you're gonna regret because you're going to regret them. You're gonna be lonely. I, I mean, it's it's kind of hard to to tell somebody not to say something that they're gonna regret because when when you upset, you do. I mean, you really a lot of people don't have no control. I mean, you know? that's, that's true, but you know, as an adult. As an adult at a certain age, and I'm learning, I'm learning right now, right now myself. At, as you know, being you know thirty, you gotta control your emotions because your emotions get the best. They get the best of you. Emotions, you know, supposed to be something you like. You look at, you know, like it's like you look in the mirror. Your emotions in the mirror. You look at the mirror. You see your emotions. You see what you like. You don't like. But if you like it, you say it. If you don't, you know, just, just be quiet to yourself. So emotions. Control yourself. That's number two right there. Number three. Number three. If you're thinking some hope, do not smash somebody else. <laughs> don't smash anybody else. I'm telling you, with those three things right there, don't smash somebody else. Cause you know, cause you're gonna feel guilty. She gonna ask you. And you might, you know, you might submit. And you might tell her. And she might hold it against you, or she may not. You know, I know my situations in my life have been held against me, so I know what not to do now. Yo, just know that what happens in Vegas stays in what Vegas. In Vegas, NY, LA, Cali, you know, <laughs> San Juan, whatever you at, it stays there. You know. So again, first one. What the first one, Mel? What's the first one again? Oh, know. oh, 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 yeah. Don't don't give a loud response. If she says okay, I mean, if she says okay, so, don't give. Don't don't give, don't, don't give don't give extra response. She says it's over, it's over. It's over. Just number, take it for what it is. Number two, control your emotions, control your anger. And number three, if you feel some hope, don't smash somebody. But if it is, if it's no hope, go ahead, be free. You know, like go ahead. So so basically, if it's hope, if you feel like it's, it's a chance, I might get back together. Don't smash. Don't smash. Don't anybody. smash nothing else. Don't smash any teacher. Don't smash another female. Not, not, not don't another. say nobody else because this is. Is we talking about men? <laughs> or we talking about we talk, we talk about men, men and females. Women, I mean, and I don't know. A woman, they, they more you know like their body is different now. If a female go out there and smash a nigga in two months, three months, then you know you know it wasn't real. A man, we could do it. I mean, you know our body part is so, our body part is just so, you know, external. You know, <laughs> but a woman part, you know, it's inside. So inside is is more emotions, more heart. So she do that after two months or three months. I mean, two months, three months is fine. Whatever. She do that after a the month. Then you know it wasn't for you. You know, like, but you know, don't also don't get mad as she talking to somebody else. Cause it's happening. You know, friends, friends. You know, she gotta get over you somehow. She might talk to a nigga. She might like him or she might not. You know, but no, no, no matter what though, control your emotions. And that's it, man. Like you love your girl, stay with your girl. If you don't, I mean, it is what it is. You know. Find somebody else, man. Find somebody else. She life. might be your trash, but she might be the next man's exactly. treasure. You know, life goes on, and that's a, that's a thing. You know, another thing too. Be like, 
Guys, if, if you get a girl, don't call her your girl. Don't say my girl. Say she's a part of me. Say we're together. Because if she's my girl, in your mind, she's going to be Yours. your girls forever. You own like her. A man, like a man Mel said, you know, two-year-old son, everything's mine. He kept saying that, so everything in his mind is his. Nah. That girl is her. And you, you. Y'all came together. And once y'all break apart. Y'all break apart. Y'all break apart. So, I mean... That's what it is, you know. I, I wish, I wish, I wish I told myself this five, ten years ago. But now, you know, I'm telling me, telling you, telling Mel. Well, you know, you live and you learn. You live and you learn. Or you live and you burn. One of the two. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, that's it, man. That's all I got to say, doggy. That's Let it, it burn. <laughs> well, yeah. So, basically, this is the the three things you don't do three. after a breakup. And then some. Yeah. And then some. And then some. Then some. You learn some, you lose some, you win some. Most likely, when you're dealing with a female, you're going to lose more than you win. But when you win, it's going to be something special. So, y'all remember this? Go follow my man, Quilly Jones. Page. Quilo Jones, man. Oh, Quilo. Quilo Jones, man. Quilo, excuse me. Quilo Jones. Quilo Jones, man. You want to spell that for them? Q U I L O Jones. Jones! I'm from Harlem, too, but you know, I reside other places, but from Harlem, though, you know? <laughs> That's it, man. Yeah, we're on our way to Walmart. Wally World is what they call it, right? Wally World. Right, right, right. Yo. Yo. It's your boy. Oh, Dan is like bright as hell. It's your boy. <laughs> Signing out. Diego. Diego.